friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and today I have a layout for you for the UK Scrap Addicts creative team. Uh, this month we are focusing on black and white photographs and I've chosen to use the Starshine collection by Chimel for this one. So I've got a photograph of my nephew um, and I wanted to, this the collection is great for boys and I'm desperately trying to trying to work my way through it and, um, and use it all up. So I started with um, three pattern papers and I'm using a, a sketch for this one. Um, I found some inspiration um, for, I just found the sketch on, um, on I just googled um, sketches and it wasn't sort of affiliated with any particular person or, um, or what. So I used this one and I found the inspiration from the pinwheel um, that was on the sketch. And so, um, yeah, I went with it. So first of all, um, I've just picked these three pattern papers and um, I'm just going to layer them on top of each other. Now, if I was really precious about uh, wanting to keep as much of the paper as possible, then I would have cut sort of L shapes from the ones behind um, and kept the extra bits of paper. But I'm not too fussed about um, losing those, especially because one of those is um, quite a garish green colour. Green's one of the colours that I don't tend to work with. Green, orange and brown, I just don't, I'm not a fan of those colours. Um, but in small doses it's absolutely fine. Um, so next I'm just backing my photo um, onto some white card. I just love um, the effect that that gives. It makes the photo really pop. So next onto this um, cut apart sheet here from the same collection. I'm just going to use a few of these sentiments. Um, to create my first cluster um, to the top right of the photo and just cutting these into banner shapes as well just to create a little bit more interest so thank you very much for joining me today I hope that you are all well and all looking forward to dare I say it Christmas now everything else is out of the way and I'm sure you've heard me bang on about it, but I am off to Florida in three weeks and I am so, so excited. And um, I am vlogging my trip as well. Um, you'll find that over on my, my channel, Scrappy Nerd UK. Now, if you're watching this on UK Scrap Addicts, um, then do head over to my channel, um, Scrappy Nerd UK. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. Loads of inspiration over on there. Um, same on the flip, if you're watching this on uh, my own channel, Scrappy Nerd UK, then be sure to head over to UK Scrap Addicts because there's some fantastic um, inspiration and ideas um, every single month from the team over there. Um, we also do free cut files as well, um, so we offer a free cut file every month. Um, so yeah, I'll leave all the, the links down below for the blog um for our um instagram and also um the youtube if applicable and i'm taking my sweet time here with um with doing this um so i should have cut a bit more of this out but hey ho um so yeah i'm just layering those little banner pieces up um to create a cluster and um that one there's an there's another longer one um, and I do something I don't normally do, and that's actually use it on top of the photo, um, which you'll see in just a second. Now, there's no story to tell um, with this photo. It's just a photograph that I grabbed of, of my nephew, um, so I have no journaling to go on it as such. Um, so here comes the pinwheel. Now, this is, and I'm, I think I've used this in another video before, this is a little pinwheel die from I think I picked it up from Hobbycraft here in the UK um, for a couple of pounds it was really inexpensive and so what I've done is I have cut out um, eight of these uh, little squares and then I've die cut each of them with the pinwheel die now if you don't have a pinwheel die it's not a massive problem you can make these with um, a square of pattern paper and then you just need to make a hole in the center and I will zoom in in a second and I'll show you how these are put together and out come the brads now if you've got brads floating around in your stash 
and you have no idea what you can use them for then pinwheels are a great idea um, it goes straight through and that's how they attach to to the layout now, if you don't have brads it's not a not a problem how about just using some tape um, double-sided tape and then maybe put an enamel dot in the middle as well you get the same effect then so here so what happens here is you end up with four, four sections four triangles now make sure that you bend the same half of the triangle in each one so on here you'll see I'm bending the right side every time now if you find that when you're trying to um, and there you go I'm just popping that through the hole and through the um, back of the card if you find that those um, those bits are popping up every time then um, just use some glue just to sort of stick them down whilst you're putting the the brad in or the enamel dot on and I'm just using some um, washi tape just to tape down the backs there so when it goes into the page protector it doesn't catch on the layout or doesn't catch the layout um, on the reverse and I'm just showing you another one here so just bending the right side down every time and then just popping through a brad apologies I've disappeared off screen and there we go and so I did four in total now the reason I cut eight squares um, is because you do need either um, two squares for each one or if you have a double side uh, double sided pattern paper that will work as well you only need one square for that it's because when you fold it over um, then you need to see the pattern on the other side as well so yeah just messing around with that I'm not too sure what I'm doing here I think I'm struggling with this one which is uh, why I'm faffing around with it and then that goes on to the layout as well and then just some tape just to secure that on the back and then on to um, the embellishing so obviously we've already got some embellishments going on with those pinwheels and um, yeah if you've got a pinwheel die you've never used it or you've never done never tried to make yourself your own pinwheels then give it a go um, especially if um, if you're really low on ephemera um, that can make some perfect uh, ephemera for you as well um, try a whole layout with uh, with pinwheels it's definitely on my to-do list um, so yeah I'll give it a go maybe, maybe I'll film uh, film a video over on my channel um, for that maybe so I'm just going through the ephemera I've just added that make a wish um, blue banner piece from the chipboard and I'm just adding a couple of pieces of ephemera on um, to here as well so I'm mainly sort of concentrating on uh, the top right and the bottom right and then the bottom left and no layout would be complete without some Tim Holtz tiny word stickers so I'm just going to add a few of these in across the um, across my layout because we've got a white border going on, um, adding in that dash of white um, sort of here and there across the layout because the, the, it, the papers are quite cream based in this collection. Um, it really does help to make it all make it all come together. So my layout is nearly complete, just a few enamel dots. Um, and I just have these floating around in my stash. Um, I can't tell you what what make they are just blue glittery ones which are um which work really well with this and my layout is pretty much done so um this is the part where i say thank you very much for watching um do subscribe if you haven't already done so and um i'll see you all next time have a good one bye bye